So what, they don't call it a task force anymore? No, it's the Special Crime Agency's Joint Investigation Teams. Oh, rolls off the tongue very nicely. Could be interesting. Yeah. You probably get better money than what you get here. Yeah. Yeah. Have your own car, nice big office, bit of interstate travel. I'll give you a bit of that, eh? Yeah, maybe too much interstate travel. <sighs> you know, the inner city's starting to grow on me, mate. Ah, mate, you'd have top blokes working for you. Yeah? Yeah. They send you to do a snow job on me, did they? Ah, uh, not me, mate. I'd love to keep working with you. Oh, yeah, once I get off the desk, anyway. Bill, we got a missing kid. Yeah? Our Virginia's handed over to us. I mean, can't we uniform still? Well, apparently they're flat out. I don't know. All right, the little girl's name is Nikki Begby. She's 10 years old, and the reason we got a move on this is because she's deaf. As we all know, it's school holidays, and the last time she was seen was by her mother at 11 o'clock this morning, just before she went out to sell fundraising chocolates. The neighbours have been combing this whole area here for the last couple of hours. Is that right? Yep. Now, the thing is that the only way you're going to get her attention if you do spot her is to get in front of her so that she can see you. And when you talk to her, make sure it's clear and precise, because she does lip read. Now, if you've got any other questions, you can ask Charlie Kustos because he's had some dealings with deaf kids in the past and he understands signing. OK? So let's get out there and let's find her. Let's move. Uh, yep. Can I have Charlie? Charlie. I've been to time zone and I've been to the basketball courts. No one's seen her. She's probably just testing the waters. Christ, she'll get hiding when she gets home, I know that much. How's Karen? She'll be better when she's on that thing. <laughs> Bad time. Blokes, you know, she's 10 years old. Someone yeah. sneaks up behind her, she can't hear. Yeah, yeah I understand. Um, and you know, like, the, it's Nikki, don't you? Not Nicola. Yeah, they know that. Yeah. And, and, and you know, you need to wave to her to get her attention, OK? Yeah, they know that, Karen. Right I, I told them that. They're not bloody idiots. <laughs> Sorry. It's a rough area around here, you know, with a lot of weirdos. Um, if I could ask you to stay by the telephone, we'll give you a progress report on the hour. We'll do our best to try and find her. Won't do any good standing around here, will it? No. So you babysit Nikki sometimes? Yeah. Right, and you're on the second floor. Yeah, how long's she been gone? Well, she went missing about 11 o'clock, they say. It's yeah, nearly three well, now. It's not that simple, Mr. Begby. There's a special procedure that has to be followed. Ladies and gentlemen, could I have your attention here, please? Hang on, could I have your attention, please? Can I just have your attention, please? Here? Yeah. Okay, now. I know we're all hoping that Nick will be found safe and sound. But legislation stipulates that you have to have people here involved that know how to handle evidence. OK, so anybody that finds anything, you tell us. We also have to prepare ourselves that something might have happened to Nick. Mr Begley, do you think that someone is holding Nick? Well, we're, we're hoping for the best. If someone does have her, we just, we just ask that they, uh, they let it go. Can you get about three people sort of searching the grass around this area here? We'll just keep an eye on them, make sure they don't touch anything, if they find anything. Thanks. Did you have much to do with Nikki Beckman? She came in the centre a few times. It's a quiet little thing. She used to just wait with her dad. Remember I was surprised to learn that she was ten. She's just so tiny. The community is strong, you know, so everyone's helping out from the flats, which is good. Thank you very much for your time. Thanks a lot. Nevertheless, that community support hangs in the balance. 
I'm afraid you can't touch it, Mrs. Begby. Forensic will need to have a look at it. Oh. It's broken. It's broken. Where? Uh, Chisholm Lane. When did you last wear that? Um. Oh, this morning. I mean, she doesn't. She doesn't take it off because, you know, we we would have heard about it. She lost it. Well, we're uh, you know we're hoping not, but if she is, we we just want whoever it is to let her come home, you know, bring her home. She's a little girl. She hadn't done nothing wrong. Got a lot of community support. Yeah, all of these, uh, a lot of these people from... That's the last of the residents canvassed. Except for a couple on the sixth floor, but they've been gone a couple of weeks. Thank you very much for your time. You might want to leave that till morning. Nevertheless, that community support hangs in the balance. Volunteer searches... Right, that's the last of the cab details. Uh, sorry, I realise this must be tough for you with, uh, with, you know, Nick. I mean, you never talk about it and stuff. Bill, do you want to have a look at this? So what we got? It's a brother and sister on the second floor. The sister babysits Nikki from time to time. The brother's been out of Kumajau a year, still on parole. And the um, the sister's sort of boyfriend has stayed over a couple of nights. So the sister's sort of boyfriend, has he got a name? Gary Sterling, but he's, he's, he's clean. There's nothing on him. <laughs> Hey, All right, hey, 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 mate. You flashed around most of the playgrounds in the city. Don't worry about covering it's up now, right. mate. Where about you this afternoon, Colin? He was with me. Hang on, he can answer the question. Where were you this afternoon? Um, I, I was, I was here. All right. Uh, when was the last time you saw Nikki Begby? I don't know. Colin, you know who I'm talking about. Yes. She's the age that you I... like. Don't say that stuff to him. Is him that okay? why you babysit girls that age? Is it what to feed his appetite? No, he doesn't. That's my room. Rise and shine, sunshine. Up we go. Uh, Gary doesn't know anything about... It's, n it's nothing, OK? You're babysitting a ten-year-old girl. Not regularly. Your brother is a convicted child molester. I think it's a hell of a Karen needed enough. help and it was always in her flat. Right. Just don't take any notice, OK? Your, years your ago. parole officer reckoned you're a pretty hard case to deal with. Really? Yeah. <laughs> what do you say to that? I don't know. So how long have you two been together? Mm, not long. Do you live here, Gary? No. Where do you live? I, um, uh, flat 7, 8 Ashby Street, Randwick. How did you two meet? I met Colin when I was doing some casual work at a courier company. But is, is this for real, mate? You said that... Well, uh, I, I didn't have anything to do with the girl. I, I don't know anything about her. I didn't touch her. But you said oh, that... I've got nieces you, that age. You said you were here alone. Yes. Until what time was that? Um, I was here till uh, about 1.30 in the afternoon. So if you if you were here alone till that time, Look, I, I, where'd you go? I, I, I went to the um, the butcher. Uh, uh, um, I went, went we to the bank. The bank. The bank yeah. You don't have to mm. check with your sister. Here, I'm not right? checking with her. I just to I went to the talk. bank and the butcher, and, and also I went to the um, the uh, mobile telephone shop. Did you buy a mobile mm. phone? No, no, I didn't actually. I um, exercised my self control, which is something that I have, and I'm very proud so that I do. So do you know where Nikki Begby is? No. You haven't just handed her off to one of your scumbag mates, have you? No. See this videotape? The uniform copper found a couple of these in a the garbage bin. Right, the labs worked on them overnight. Now this one's still got a bit at the head because it wasn't rewound properly, so the first couple of frames are still there. All right, let's see. You know, if you could both <gasps> have a look at it, it'd be a tremendous help to us. See if you could recognise anything, you know, 
Something about the clothes you might have been wearing yesterday? Anything. Anything yeah. at all. I want to see it. Okay. Now, um... Now, I'm not going to be able to see her face because... because it... looks like she's got something over her head, like a pillow slip or something. Now, do you recognise... <laughs> It is, Ellen. You know that dress? That's her dress. You can find that dress in any bloody oh, shop. Oh, well, listen to me for once in your life. OK, I'm going to have to ask you to have another look <laughs> at the tape and make sure. No, no you can't oh, make it. Please, <laughs> Alan, Alan, look, or we'll get the bloody we, kicks Alan, out of this Alan, or something. No, right? all we're trying to okay. do is try to help, you know? This is probably the worst thing you'll probably ever have to do. <laughs> I know that. I understand that. But you know, if you could recognise something there, any detail whatsoever, it would be a tremendous help to us. I know it's hard. <laughs> How would you know? <laughs> I mean, I've got a son that went missing 12 years ago. I'm not getting any kick out of this. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Now, this time... I'd like you to concentrate on the surroundings, see if you can recognise anything, anything whatsoever about that place. Do you know this place? Do you know where that place could be there? Do you know that place? It's her. It's her. I already told you, I used to mind her in their flat. Oh, did you tell them that your brother's a pedophile? He was. And he has been with a whole lot of little in kids? In the past. Done that? He doesn't do it anymore. He went to jail. He had treatment. Treatment? He's rehabilitated, all right? He's got new friends. OK, does your brother own a video camera? No. He doesn't own a video camera? No, he doesn't. We don't even have a VCR. Yeah, can you tell me about Gary Stone? You had no right telling him. Has he got a taste for little kids as well? No. OK, how many times have you slept with him? Once or twice. What does it matter? Once or twice. It mustn't have been very memorable, must it? OK. Does your brother have access to a warehouse? No. A garage, a shed? No. Anything like that? A mate's place? No. You know, maybe... No. No sheds or anything? No, I'm not a no, fool. No, not even a holiday place Listen, or I've spoken to him. I asked him when Nicky disappeared if he knew anything about it. I made sure he didn't, OK? Oh, you made sure? Yes. Oh, well, I mean, we don't have to worry. That, that, that just gets rid of everything I have to worry about. Now, in terms of sleeping, Karen, I don't want you to take any kind of sedative or sleeping pill, all right? Because it's just going to suppress your breathing and we can't afford to do that. OK, come in. OK, could I have somebody in this bedroom? Somebody in this bedroom, please. Search everything under the beds. <laughs> Uh, Mr Begby, we're conducting Jeez. official police business here. I'll have to ask you to step outside. Jeez. Come on, where is he? Just step outside. He's not here. It's all right, mate. Stand here. Come on. You've got a child molester in here, you know, at the end Come of the on. hall. You've got a child molester right there, and he doesn't Come care on. what kid he takes, I'm telling you now. Let's go. He's got my kid! Mr. Begby. He's got my girl! Right. Mate, this isn't going to stay. Let's go You're back down the hall. I'll tell you what, he doesn't care who he gets hold of. Alan, please. It's not going to help, mate. What's going on, Al? Hey, take just take her back just your mind, Nick. Just take her back to the back. She's your mind, Nick. She won't mind. Come on, she won't mind. Can you take her back to the back? That's what it is. She's just going to say, she could have her little brother. Can you take her back to the back? Can you take her back to the back, please? That's what the papa called him. Don't treat me like an idiot. Mr. Begby, come on, let's go. This is not going to help at all. Let's go into your flat and talk. Let's go into your flat and talk. We should have been told. Mate, I know you should have been told. Well, well, why, how can they get away with it? How can he be here? That's the system. Oh, mate, well, it's... I know, it's, it's really, wrong, it's mate. It's absolutely right. I agree, but that's the way it is. Let's go back in there. You're right, Jesse, you having a good look? Good let's on go. you, neighbour. Come on, mate, let's go back. Colin Armstrong, that's his name. Let's go. You got anything? No, no. One video of Hiawatha. I'll probably get off on the covers. <laughs> Kids' clothing catalogues, internet. No, no, nothing, no result. It's complete cocker. Okay, what about Gary Sterling's place? No, it's clean. I'm sending him back to work. Listen, the whole block knows about Armstrong now, and the lynch mob's out. Mm. One of our uniformed officers took it upon themselves to broadcast the details of this morning's search. I want to know who it was. Okay, leave it with me. Ellen, what do you say to you, this Gary Sterling? Was he cooperative? Well, I'd, I'd say the romance is off. Right, what else? Well, he's, he's shocked. 
You know, he's just found out his best friend's a pervert and he never saw any evidence. Okay, so when you, when you said that you could find nothing on him, do you mean absolutely nothing? Right. So no driver's licence, no rego, nothing, he doesn't drive a car or anything like no, that? No, no. Okay, so how could he get a job in a courier company if he doesn't drive? Hmm? Yeah, I don't know. Hey, those uh, tattoos, he had a couple of tattoos on him. What was that one on his hand? Oh, he had like an ninja star sort of thing on his hand. Celtic design. And he had one up here, didn't he, on his yeah, arm? Yeah, an armband. Cross between a cat and a dog or something. Yep, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Okay, right. hold it. That's the one. All right, Glenn Sheen. There you have it. Yep. They're good, these bikes, aren't they? I reckon they can cover their tracks, but they can't cover their tats. We started sleeping together, yes. So your sister and Gary Sterling started sleeping together. That's Gary Andrew Sterling, is that right? Yes, Gary Andrew Sterling. You've known him for a few months? Four months. Four months. Sorry, four months. And before that, he was a complete stranger to you? Yes. You know, it's a terrible thing. It's a terrible thing, Colin. But being a cop made me more suspicious than most people. And suspicious of little things, like people who reckon they've done nothing wrong or who you know, never had a driver's license, let alone a motor car. But you know what really worries me? Really, really makes me suspicious? Is the state of your mental health. You share a cell with a bloke for two years, two months, and four days. You see his face every morning when you get up out of bed. And for some reason, you've just erased it from your memory. You probably sat around those therapy classes, holding hands, flicking each other on the wrist with plastic bands every time you had a naughty thought about prepubescent girls. Right. So what's going on here? And miraculously, it's all just slipped out of your mind. You know, a mate of yours, somebody you would have bonded with. Suddenly he comes up to Sydney, changes his name, and he's a different person. Something you don't understand. You don't understand. even slip up and mm. call him Glenn. I mean, you don't even introduce him and say, here's my cellmate, Glenn Sheehan. So what's that all about? Anybody's capable of evil, and when a person tries to change, then you help them, you know. Gary, Glenn, was trying to change. Trying to change. Was he? Or maybe he was trying to cover his tracks. When I first heard that Nicky had gone missing, I asked Glenn, all right? I asked him. Uh -huh. I said to him, What'd you ask him? Do you know anything about it? Yeah. No. He said no. And you believed him just like that, did you? Just like your sister believes you. I have rights, okay? Now, I'd like a lawyer, if I could, please. Yeah. I'd like to go home. Yeah? Yes. <laughs> yeah. A block of flats full of little kids. And there you are, living there. You have no right, you and your perverted mate, have no right to even go near the place. What would you have me do? I have to live somewhere, officer. Yeah? Well, maybe we should put a sign above your door warning people against what you like. Here lives a pervert. So, can you guys tell us anything about the men that the police have done there with them at the police yeah, station? Yeah. Was that, he's from in there, Colin. I think we, we think his name is. Ever since he's come in, he's been nothing but trouble. Has anything suspicious right. gone on? Yeah, this is that right. Right. Yeah. Yeah, There he is. That's him! Right, stand back. Just stand back! Imagine what they'd be like if they knew you had two of them in here. Or did have. Whew. Sorry. 
Glenn Sheehan, also known as Gary Sterling. He was your brother's cellmate when they were inside together. You're joking. No, no. You're joking. bloody joking. No. Served a three year sentence for gross indecency against the minor, making indecent videos, and he's got a charge of indecent assault against an 11 year old girl. Colin, tell me this isn't true. It's not true, right? Jesse. You lied to me. Jess. Now I get a call telling me he's pissed off from work, went out for a smoke, never came back. Do either of you two know where he might have gone to? No, no. no. we don't know. No. We don't know where he is. Colin, right. do you? Jesse, I don't know where do he you is. Jess, don't. Jesse, don't. Stop, all right? Do you, don't you understand? He was trying to make a new life for himself, all right? He was in the yeah, program. Not Just, with us, but you don't understand, all right? Don't. Why did it have to be with us? You ought to understand it. What is wrong with you? Jesse Armstrong came in to see me. She got notice from the housing department. They say they're going to relocate them to the suburbs. They can't do that. They can't do that. It's blatant discrimination. Not if they veil them to something else, Max. They reckon they've had complaints from the neighbours for the last six months. Right. Who are just as keen to see the back of her, right? Well, exactly. I just don't like her chances on this one, OK? Nikki's mum bought them in. And you said it was all right for her to put them up, did you? Look, Max, her kid's gone missing. What could I say? Yeah, I know that. that. I know that. But what sort of a message do you think this is sending to the people that come in here? We don't allow and... pedophiles in this. No, research. no. What it is saying is be very careful about what you tell us because we do not believe in giving second chances. It says what? That we've got some kind of a, a branding operation out the back, Max. hey? Max. D Max. Just don't. Yes. Karen stood there waiting for Jerry to put it up. OK, we're going to need protection on Colin no, Armstrong. No, I'm not no, we don't protection. have the If the press get hold of this, they're going to eat us alive. Listen, I'm not saying anything about protection. Yeah, well, you know, we've got all the officers out in the field. They're combing the parks. They're, they're searching the wheelie oh, bins. Yeah. We're doing everything we can. Oh, jeez, they're doing a bloody good job, aren't they? Oh. oh, we did find the tape, Bill. I mean, we're either out there or... We're babysitting every pedophile that you listen, decide to target. Listen, Colin Armstrong is a very serious suspect in this case. Oh, well, the word is, Bill, that you don't have anything on The him. word is that, is That's it? That's the word. Oh, yes. Yeah. I need a watch on Jesse, the sister. I need a watch outside the flax. Now, I don't care who does it. I don't care if you blokes do it. I don't care if we do it. But I need, I need that, OK? But it's got to be done. I need two of them there. And you're saying you want an officer outside the door? You know, let me know when you make up your mind. All right, I want an officer outside the door for 24 hours only, and I want a door knock telling those neighbours to pull their heads in. That's a waste of personnel. Be that as it may, this man is about to be tarred and feathered, and we're partly to blame. So let's just fix it, all right? Right. I'll pull someone off the search, Lovely. shall I? That'd be good. Good. Listen, Greg Sheehan and Armstrong are going to make contact. One way or another, they're going to make contact, all right? I need a watch outside Jesse's flat. And I need a watch sleep? outside the block of flats. You've got nothing on these two guys. You need hey, four, five hours could. sleep. I'll take care of it until you get back. I'm not happy with this, Jesse. I mean, call it gut feeling or whatever. I'm not happy. I'm not happy with the whole thing. You need you sleep. Know? Okay, you put the dog squad on. Too. You're not going to get sleep. a dog squad, Bill. You're not. Now, look. Glenn Shan's probably assuming he's going to be focused on because we've learned about the name change, right? So he's scared. He's pissed off from work. Listen, we're talking about a little ten-year-old girl gone missing here. A little girl. I know. You're telescoping on these two guys. And trust me, you need sleep. Yeah. I need a little favour. Yep. That bloke you introduced me to the other day from fraud. He's moved into credit investigation, hasn't he? Simpson, yeah. Can you have a word to him? Yeah. See if Jesse Armstrong's made any purchases on her credit card in the last couple of months. You know, like electrical items, anything like that. Can you do that for me? Yeah, sure. And, uh, I trust that you can keep your mouth shut about this, eh? Well, what are you worried for? I mean, you know, we've, we've got to check out so many possibilities still and you're running off on a tangent. What are you, what are you talking about? Mate, hey, we've still got to look at number plates, right? We've got to cross-reference all the plates. We've got to interview the guys next door okay, and the block okay. next door, well, right, okay? We've, okay. Got to, we've got to check why don't, why so don't you things Why don't you done. go off and do that and you leave Nicky Begby to these mongrels, eh? Listen, I want to bust somebody as much as you do, right? Okay, but if we're going about it, you know, and we're wrong, it's going to yeah, be a total yeah. waste of time. Oh, is that right, is it? 
Yeah, it's going to be a waste of time. Is it? You're going to look like an idiot. Is that right? This got anything to do with Nick? No, mate, this has got something to do with getting the job done. Now, you know, if you don't want to go and get these numbers for me and have a talk to this bloke, why don't you go back to your desk? You want to be on the street. Just don't want to let anyone in, do you? Where'd you get that? I just thought you might like this statement a couple of days early, so you can think about the cash advance here. Um, look at this. I can't talk to you here. No, no, here, look at this, look. Look, the other day we got a uh, $1,000 taken out. That wouldn't be a loan to Colin, would it? Say goodbye video camera or anything, would it? Listen, you asshole, that was a loan to Gary, okay? He had to pay back his ex-wife. Uh, 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 there's no ex-wife. Crap. No, there's no ex-wife. Now, where is he? I don't know. You don't know? Well, Colin no, knows. No, he doesn't. Can you leave me alone? No, hang on. I just want to know where Gary is. Whoa, whoa. Hang on. You tell me where Gary is, and then I can go away. Look, people have been no. harassing me ever since this morning, all right? Yeah? People are staring at me. All right, you tell me what's going on here, and they'll stop harassing I'm you. I'm refusing you that. service, all right? You're refusing me service? Yeah. You can't do that. That's a manager's right. If Should I go and talk to your manager no. about this? If Should... I lose my job, mate, I'll sue you. Oh, will you? You'll sue me? Yeah. Okay, well, let's meet in court. I don't care. to be sacked. If she's withholding information, she deserves everything she gets. Oh, pretty big if, don't you think? Yeah. I don't know what's going on here. I mean, what, the Begby's been around and complained to you? Well, yeah, I've spoken to Karen now that you mention it, yeah. And I've got a bit of a problem with you as well. I mean, what's, what's this with Alan that I heard you the other day saying, well, if we can't catch him, just go and do whatever you want. I mean, you're encouraging this lynch mob mentality now. I mean, that's not like you, Bill. Doesn't sound so bad when you put it like that. Are you serious? Yep, I am. If you honestly mean that, then you should not be working on this case. You should just go in there and hang the badge Listen, now. I have got one strong lead here, and it's Colin yeah, Armstrong. I know that. You know? Now, if I'm wrong about him, now that's the big if. Yep. But if I am wrong about him, at least what I have done is I've let everybody know in that block of flats to keep their kids oh, away from it. And that's the answer, is it? You think that's the answer? Well, I mean, it could have stopped Nicky Begby from being taken, couldn't what, it? What you are doing in the process of following your leads is you are marking Colin. I mean, doesn't he have a right to go back into society? I mean, what, what does that leave him at for the rest of his life? You might as well just go and be the monster that you and everyone else are now setting him up to I be. Mean, he should have thought of that before he started sticking his hand up little girls' dresses, shouldn't I shouldn't believe this. Jesus Christ, what is up with you? What is this? Is this like catch a pedophile, any pedophile? Eh? I, I, don't, I don't understand why you're trying to protect Colin Armstrong. You don't what's understand? Going, what's going what on What I am saying... You? Your behaviour is coloured. You are biased. This has all got to do with the loss of your own son. It's Nicky Begby, all right? Not Nick, Nicky. You might want to repeat that to yourself a few times.
that I've had enough, okay? I've had enough of this, I've had enough of the whole thing. Now, what you've got to understand is that there is a right and a wrong way and to I'm do right. things. And I'm right, I've done nothing. That's exactly what okay, I'm trying to Okay, but there's still you. a right way to do things. Yeah, well, look, the, all I want to do, and it's as simple as that, I just want to leave, okay? I just want to get out. I am doing the right thing. Get down the ground! Get down the ground! Come on, move! Get down the ground, asshole! Get down on the ground now! Right now! Put your face down the ground, get your arm behind your back. Get your hands behind your back, asshole! Behind your back! Well, it's not looking very good for you, Colin. And you've known all along that Gary had this hideout and you didn't tell us about it. So what were you doing there? Nothing. Well, that's not what it sounded like to Detective McCoy. He overheard what was going on. He said that it sounded like Gary was clearing out of the place. Now, why would he do that? And you're there telling him not to go. What are you worried that he's gonna he's gonna leave you to take the rap or something, eh? This is all a lie. Okay? What's a lie? Why does innocent. he want to do a runner? Maybe because people like you won't leave us alone. Okay, why'd you change your name? I wanted to start a new life. Ah. So where were you living before you moved to Sydney? Coffs Harbour. So what happened? Why'd you move to Sydney then? Someone recognised my name from the case. Then some supposed group of do-gooders hounded me out of town. Right. So then you changed your name so you could work with kids, is that right? And then nobody would be the one. I'm not working around kids. Is that why you started rooting Jesse Armstrong? So you could perv on Nikki Begby? Look, I've never even seen this girl. That's all in your mind. The guy who's got her is out there somewhere, but it isn't me and Colin. It isn't us, mate. Forensics checked out the combi. They got nothing on that. A couple of lab tests that have got absolutely no weight. They're too smart, these boys. Jesus, they know how to cover their tracks. I mean, what are we going to charge them with? Thieving oxygen? If you give me any grief whatsoever, I'll have your photographs plastered on every airport, every railway station, every bus stop, and every public toilet in the country. Then we'll send the garbage truck out and pick up the little pieces. Have you got any other questions? So, um, if there'd been a central register, you see, then Every time they move, they have to register. We would have known about him then. <laughs> yeah, and, and we would not never have let our little girl go anywhere near him, of course. You know, we would have um, we would have moved away somewhere else, whatever. We would have done anything. And what would you say to these men if they are holding your little girl? Just let Nikki go. Let her come home. Can we have a minute? Sure. Hey, um... They, they want us to come back to the TV studio to do this sort of debate thing. Mm. And um, I just thought if I could get some cortisone off you, um, I, could, I could get through it OK. Just don't want to get halfway through and stop fumbling around with my oxygen sure, tank, you I know? Just, I just don't know if doing a debate would be such a good idea for you. Oh, I know, I know. It's be really hard, but right, somebody has go. to do it. Why? Karen, why? You've made a statement. That's it. Come on. Colin Armstrong, do you know anything at all about Nikki Begby? What can you tell us? Hey, we didn't do this, OK? We're innocent. Do you know anything about the disappearance hey. of Nikki Begg? Hey. Have you been charged? Jesse, what's she doing there with your lawyer bloke? We, we, we haven't been charged. We, we haven't been charged, man. We didn't do it. We didn't do it. No, we, we haven't. We haven't been... What are the police hey. questioning you about? We're in, we are. We're, we're, we're innocent. We are. Innocent, totally. Do you feel like you're being totally. held unjustly? they got nothing on us. they they got nothing on us at all. Are you going to give me the cortisone or not? I just don't think doing something like this is going to help get Nikki back. That's it's not just about getting of... Nikki back, OK? It's about, like, how it could bloody happen in the first place. Right, so what do you Something think? has to be done. People have to know. I'm just not sure whether this is the way to go about it, that's all. Yeah, well, you tell me it's not the way when it's your child. Okay, what's that? Alan, I... Bill, 
lab sitting on the tape, right? Good. Now, time. Let's set up now. Bill, you have got two grief-stricken parents out there sobbing in the gutter, all Max, right? Max, please. Yeah, I, I don't need this right now. Okay, but the big bees need someone to talk to them, all right? They just need some kind of progress report. They well, we need don't have something. a progress. We don't have any progress, and we're not going to. Because these guys are too smart. You well, see, they're too smart. They cover I'll tell you something. Yeah, Bill. Um, what are those two blokes doing walking free? We're doing everything possible. Thought you had them. I did too. We're doing everything. We're doing everything we can. No. Don't knock. Don't knock. You didn't tell me there was What's this? You're sitting there watching. What are you sitting around watching me, little girl? Hey, you having a good time? Come on, don't. Come on. What sort of Mickey Mouse outfit we got running here? Where Blake can walk up the street and look at this sort of thing. What's going on here? Jesus Christ. Come on. Come on, please. Don't get it down. Just put down your mind. Just put down your mind. Come on. Just put down your mind. Don't Come on, settle in. Take it easy. Take it easy. Come on. Take it easy. Come on. Take it easy. Don't you ever come near us again. Come on. Never. Come on, take it easy. Just come on. Come on, take it easy. Take it easy. Alright, just take it easy. It's your job to see they're not bouncing off the walls like this. And if there's been no teamwork on the case, that's partly been your fault. Look, maybe you should think about taking this other job. Do yourself a favour, get away from all this stuff. Go play with the big boys, have some fun. Because there's just going to be another kid and another and another and another. Anyway, I don't want to think about what's really keeping you here. In the meantime, I want to know where everybody is. No more Lone Ranger stunts, I want an up-to-date running sheet. You've asked for Charlie, so use Charlie. Yeah. We found the little girl. Bill. Right. 
Alan wanted to keep the friendship... Yeah, I'm holding! I'm still here! Get him for me! He wanted to keep the friendship bracelet and I told him that we'd need it for forensic evidence and you return as soon as we finish, okay? okay? And he wanted to know why you weren't the one to tell him. All right, I'm like, yeah, I'm still here! Just get him! Phil, I've got Jesse Armstrong on the phone for you. You better talk to her right now. Yeah, this is McCoy. Uh, Jesse, uh, okay, can you just slow down? Okay, all right, you just stay put. I'll come over. All right, stay there. I never touched your daughter. I never touched her. I never touched her. Get up. I never touched your daughter. You have to understand, I didn't touch your daughter. You're I didn't a liar. Touch I'm not You're a liar. all liars. I'm telling you the truth. That's how they get I'm away with what they the do in the detective. I'm telling you the truth. Get back there. I didn't hurt her. Get up there. Glenn. Glenn, tell him. Tell him the truth. Tell him the truth. I didn't touch your daughter. I didn't hurt your daughter. Don't you talk about I'm her. telling you the truth. You took her away. I didn't touch you your took daughter. You took her away. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't touch her. I didn't touch her. Anything to do with the death of Nikki Begby? Did he have anything to do with Nikki Begby's death? <laughs> Aim for the chest. Use a steady hand. You'll get justifiable homicide. Probably only get a couple of months. He didn't know nothing about it. I killed her! I killed her! behind your back. Put them behind your back! Let's go. Come on. Well, at least the baby's not. about that job offer, mate? You gonna take it up? No, I think I might stick around for a bit longer. Torment you some more? <laughs> Sorry I dumped all that shit on you before, mate. Nah, it's okay. 